Hello boys and girls, Robin the Sudoku guy back again to show you a little bit more about Sudoku puzzles. Now today we're going to do a Sudoku puzzle where we're just going to use TMB, top, middle and bottom, plus RAM. Now you may say, what do you mean by RAM? Well it's short for ramifications and basically what it means is this, when you put a number in, always look to see if that number helps you get another number. And sometimes that number will help you get another number, and so on. And it's easy to miss some of them as well. Let's see what we can do with this puzzle. I'm just going to do, go with top, middle, bottom to begin with. Cross here and see what happens. Okay, uh, we're doing top, middle, bottom. Here we have a middle and here we have a top. Over here we have to have a bottom. And as soon as I put that in, I realize that this block has only got one left. Now it's easy to miss these, but let's see if we can see them all. So therefore we can work out what this is. Uh, and we go one, two, three, four, five. It's got to be a five. So we put the five in. Now because we put that five in, this column only has one left. So we can do that too if we want to. We'll try that, ready? One, two, three. Three is missing. Now because I put that three in, the ramification means that this block only has one left. So what is that number? It's a one, it's a two. Wow, all that was the one number leads to another number, leads to another number. We call that ramifications. Fine, now let's continue on. We were at one, now let's go to two. Top, middle, bottom, they're all there. Threes, we have a top and a bottom. This one has to be in the middle. Okay, uh, did I see that before? Maybe not, it's easy to miss them. Um, fours, we have a, a four in the top, four in the middle. Here we have a four that goes down there. So now, what does that do? It shows me several things. The ramification of that, and I'll put a little four up here to remember where I left off in my going through one to nine. This four means that there's a number left along this row. And that number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's an eight. Now because I put that eight in, that means that this block has got a number missing. We can just do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a seven. So we've now got all those things as a result of uh, looking for ramifications when you put a new number in. Now, have you noticed that this block has only got one left and this row has only got one left? We can do what, what, that way or we can do the block. I'll do the block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. And if you want to self-check yourself, like self-checking, you can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as well. Okay, so now we'll do the TMB for these three horizontal blocks. We'll start with the one. We have the top, we have a bottom. This goes in the middle. Now, anything else there? That, that a ramification, could there be a ramification? No, I don't see one. Let's now go to twos. We have a bottom two, a middle two, and a top two. They're all there. Let's go to threes. We have a bottom three. We have a middle three. This block doesn't have a three. So, but it, oh yes, it does. Is the three there? Three, three, three. We're fine. We go continue on. Um, four. We have a top four, a middle four. This four goes in here. And what does that do? I'll put a little four over here. Well, you've got to put it with four, four there to help remind me we're at four because I see by putting that four in, this block has only one left in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an eight. Now because I put that eight in, this column only has 
one left. And it's a one. It's a one. Now, because I put that eight in, this row has only got one left. One, two, three, four. It's a five. And because I put that five in, this block only has one left, and this row has only gone one left. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a six. Wow, all of that because we solved the four. See how powerful the ramifications can be once you get a new number look to see if it can give you another new number and keep on going sometimes i've gone all the way around the puzzle as a result of getting just one new number now let's see whatever is there something else that we're missing so far okay i think we've got all these now let's do tmb along here tmb we have a bottom we have a middle and we have a top they're all there. Go to number two. Here we have a top. We have a middle. In this block that doesn't have a two, it has to be in the bottom. And what happens there? Look, we've got a column with an empty cell. We've got a block with an empty cell. Let's put that in. One, two, uh, it's a three. Let's put the three in. Good. Now, uh, we did two, we did the threes, we've got all the threes, the fours, let's do the fours now. Four, bottom, middle, it has to be up in here. Now because we put that four in, this block and this column only has one left, so you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's a nine. And you can self-check by going up and down here as well. Now because we did that, we now only have one left in this, this row here. This row has got a one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a seven, I think. It's a seven that's missing. Now, because we put that seven in, this column has only got one left, and this block has only got one left. So we can work that out very easily, and it's a one, two, three, four. It's a five, and folks, Whoopee! We have solved this puzzle because we look for ramifications. We we're just doing TMB and look at all the different numbers we got just by using TMB to begin with. That's it for today's session. Next session, we learn even more things. Bye for now.